The high school in Partial was built in the 60s, and with the constant growth, a new school was badly needed. PJ Walker has the latest on the new building and the excitement that surrounds it. Last year, voters in Parshall approved a $5 million bond that would tear down the current school and place the new one right beside it. The superintendent says with growing issues to the structure, it was time for a new building. The old school is cracking, shifting, those kinds of things. A lot of the doors, don't, they don't shot as well as they should be. But that won't be a problem in the new building. With a little more than 100 students, not only will this be a new place to learn, but also a place to grow into. We're just going to move to 7 through 12 over this year. And then kind of play by year, um, you know, we're looking at possibly having the sixth graders over here as well next year. Over 20,000 square feet larger than the current school, the new building was in part paid for by the MHA Nation. And one teacher says this is an exciting adventure for the entire community. Um, it's amazing just what opening a new school, new building can really do to bring unity to the staff and to the students. She says they have an idea of what to expect, but still the unknown is keeping them on the edge of their seats. I think there's an excitement about it. I mean, talking about where the different classrooms are going to be, uh, a lot more space. I think it's going to make moving around the school a lot easier. The school was supposed to be finished by mid-December, but weather has slowed down construction. The superintendent says if all goes as planned, they are expected to be in the building no later than January. Reporting for KX News and Partial, PJ Walker. And the total cost of the school is expected to be a little more than $15 million. Sagard says they plan to host a basketball game in the new gym as a way to celebrate the opening of the new school.